how to distort shapes using the equation filter in Affinity Photo. Go to the Tools panel and select the Ellipse tool. It is a vector shape, but as soon as you apply equations, it will become pixels. Go to the View menu, Studio and Swatches. Then go to the Gradient section and select a gradient. If you wish to modify the gradient, go to the Gradient tool in the Tools panel. You can select any of the gradients that you have or create your own gradient. You can find out more about modifying gradients via our video tutorials. Go to the Filters menu, Distort and Equations. For the coordinates, select Polar. The Assistant panel will appear on the screen. Just ignore it. In the T field, type in T times 30 times A. Go to the shape, move the cursor and you will see the shape distort. You can now move the cursor around and experiment with the shape. All kinds of wonderful distortions can be generated. You can also go back to the panel and change the parameter A to create all kinds of unique distortions. Once you're happy with your design, click Apply. Select the shape, hold down the Alt or Option key and drag to duplicate the design. Reduce the size, align on top of the original. Slightly rotate the design. Select the original and the duplicated shape. Go to the Layer menu and Merge Selected. You now have a single layer. You can now apply filters to it. Go back to the Filters menu, Distort and Equations. Set the coordinate system to Polar. This time, go to the T field, enter T times 5 times A. Go back to the screen and move the cursor around to modify the current shape. You should have a very extreme shape, but however, you can modify the A parameter. Changing the A will produce some very abstract shapes. Continue to experiment with the A parameter as well as moving the cursor to create all kinds of unique designs. I would love to see a video capture feature added to this panel or a quick way of storing some of these shapes. Instead of those lovely twirly shapes, I'm going to go for a more intense crackling design with four lobes. Once you're happy with the design, click Apply. You can always go back into the Equations panel and apply it again and again and again. Or perhaps combine it with other filters. I want to duplicate the design, so hold down the Alt or Option key and drag. Repeat this multiple times and fill the entire screen with that design. You can always resize as well as rotate the design. You can also go to the Layers panel and then go to the bottom of the Layers panel and select Layer Effects. The panel comes with lots of options such as 3D, Inner Shadow, etc. Go to the 3D section and add some depth to your shape. Increase the radius setting. Change the lighting. Go to the Outer Shadow section. Change Offset and Radius, etc. Once you're happy with the settings in the Layers Effects, click Close at the bottom of the panel. Hold down the Alt or Option key and drag to duplicate the design over and over again. Fill the entire image with those duplicated designs. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two. That's always appreciated. As well as a dislike or like. Thank you very much.